All right, welcome back everyone. Dr. Ben, not a real doctor here. And let's talk ab exercises, sit-ups, flutter kicks, planks. We all love them, right? Nobody loves them. Nobody loves ab exercises, and that's not what we're gonna talk about. Today I'm gonna talk about an exercise that will get a lot of core work in without doing any ab exercises. So let's talk goblet squat. So like I said, ooh, looks like we're starting to rain. There's some medieval combat going on behind me. I don't know how much of that you're gonna be able to hear, but looks like they're having a good time. All right, so I'm gonna be using a kettlebell here. And just to show you the basic position, you're gonna set up like a regular squat here, feet about hip to shoulder width apart, feet pointed straight forward. You're not gonna end up with the weight on your back like you see a back squat. You're gonna be holding the weight in front of you. So you wanna get the weight up. And if you're using a kettlebell, you can hold the handles or you can hold the bell itself. Just so you can see my face, I'm gonna hold the, the handles here. You wanna lock your arms in tight up against your, your rib cage for a little support. And then basically you're just gonna use the uh, whatever range of motion that you have. You don't wanna try and over, like over squat past your comfort point. So when we're going from the side here, hold the weight out in front of you start by shifting your hips back. Now, because the weight's in front of you, you're not gonna have to ship your, shift your hips back very far before you start squatting down. It's gonna be a more upright position. So shift your hips back, get your weight back to your heels, and start dropping your hips down. Now, you're gonna notice that your abs are gonna have to tighten up a lot. You can squat down. If you're not comfortable with this depth, stop shorter. If this is what you got, that's what you got. All right. The important thing to remember on squats like these is that you work with the range of motion you have. So I'm gonna go through and demonstrate this a few times from the side and from the front so you can see what it looks like. Now, a few things you wanna look out for is as you're squatting, watch what your back's doing. If you notice your back is starting to arch a whole bunch as you're coming down, all right? You wanna watch out for that. It means that you either lack the hip mobility or the ab, st ab strength to go that deep. So what you wanna do is either back off your depth, lighten your weight, or work on your core mobility. And as your weight gets heavier, your knees are gonna travel further and further forward and your body will get more and more upright. That's because of the counterbalancing effect when the weight, like if I hold this weight way out in front of me, I'm straight up and down. Whereas if I bring it in, I'm a little bit more forward. That's what has a lot of that tensioning effect on your core. And you do a few reps of this, um, even moderately heavy, especially if you're not used to it, you're really gonna feel a lot of core contraction in your abs. So that's the goblet squat. It's a great way to work into a different variation of squats and a great way to get a lot of core work without doing ab exercises. When you start doing this, start off with a light exercise if you're not used to, number one, the range of motion required, and two, the core stabilization required, you're gonna end up being surprisingly tired and fatigued the next day. So take your time, start with a light weight, and work up to a heavier weight and more reps as your body gets used to the movement. It's much better to start slowly, get your technique right, and then add intensity. That's all I got for you today. If you liked the video, smash the thumbs up. If you know somebody that can benefit from this, share the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. Until next time, keep your life in motion.